Hello guys, welcome to VFIX Technology. In this video, we're gonna be learning how we can create a bootstrap form and start uh, our creating form and so we can start our creating operation. So let's jump to the code, VS Code here. In the last video, we have installed the Laravel, created the migration along with the model and a controller. It came Everything came automatically in one command as we passed migration flag MCR. So if you see under models, app models, we have post model. And whenever we want to inject the data as a mass assignment through an array, we are supposed to say protected fillable. And we have to pass the data, whatever we have, the role's name. So we got three only. One is title, another one is image, and the third one is body. That's the first job. Then we'll jump to the second part. Let's go to the Bootstrap website. Bootstrap. And uh, Docs, then we will pick up this boiler template of Bootstrap and I'm gonna create a view here. I'm gonna say post create dot lay dot php pass it. Now in order to show this boiler template, we are supposed to have a controller, which we already created, but let's create the function. So we can find the controllers under app, HTTP controllers and the controller, which we did create post controller. The function which we would be using is create function. In keep in mind in resource controller, when we pass the resource flag, it itself creates all these inbuilt functions index, create, store, show, edit, delete, update. So it makes the code more synchronized and that's a more professional approach. I can recommend you should follow this pattern too. Anyway, I'm gonna say return a view and the name of the view gonna be, it is post creates. That's pretty much it. Now, all we're supposed to do, just let us the route know that this page is exist. So we're gonna supposed to come route web and we are supposed to say route and it's supposed to be a resource route. And I'm gonna say post is our slug or link. And that is gonna be a post controller, the controller which we did create and we're supposed to call it on the top. Use app HTTP controllers, then post controller. And I believe it should work. Let's start the server and see how it looks like. PHP artisan serve and come to the Laravel page. And as we said, the route supposed to be the URL supposed to be the post. So if you want to see all the links, you can say PHP artisan route list can write down this command. And here we can see all the list of our routes. So in order to create that, we're supposed to have this post forward slash create route. So this function gonna work. So we want to show the create page and it is right here. Let me PHP artisan serve. Let's restart the server and I'm gonna say post forward slash create, there we have it. That's a beautiful page from Bootstrap. Let's come down and uh, start the coding. L let me let me code it instead of copy pasting something. I'm gonna go ahead, create a section and let's take a container, my bad container. I'm gonna take a row and I'm gonna take a uh, Column MD, let's take it five. And uh, let's take a card. 
Then uh, in the card, we will say padding three. Then we'll say a form supposed to be a post request. Action gonna be route post dot store. Keep in mind, this is supposed to be exactly same because every time we do create the resource controller, this pattern gonna work. So create gonna be create, store gonna be store. And the first thing gonna be the name of our route. Anyway, every time you create route or a form, I would say my bad, we are supposed to pass a CSRF token just to avoid any cross side request. Rows, margin, bottom three, and let's say a label. Label gonna be, mm, let's say title. Below that, I'm gonna say input. And it's supposed to be a text input. Name gonna be title. And let's see how it looks like. My bad. Okay, server is already in there. Okay, so this is how so far the code looks like. Let's fix it. I'm going to say class going to be home control. And on the section, let's give a padding top and bottom five, and it should be good now. Perfect. Let's give a title up here above the section. Add post let's see how it looks like perfect better now we're gonna pass an image attribute so div margin bottom three and the label gonna be image and input text supposed to be file and let's name image and one more thing Every time you handle the form data, if you have images, we're supposed to do the ink type, which is multi-part form data. If you don't do that, the image may not get uploaded. So here we're gonna say class, let's keep the class same form control. And the final thing gonna be the body, div margin bottom three, Label, let's say body of the post, and let's keep a text area name gonna be body and class gonna be same bootstrappy class form control final button div margin bottom three and the button gonna be type submit and say the name gonna be submit let's see how it looks like and we have our form ready i'm gonna give a class to the button btn btn primary it should have the blue button now so our form is ready in next video i will teach you how we're gonna go ahead and add the logic into our form and show the errors at the same time. Stick with the video, stick with the series and subscribe the channel. Thank you for your support. Bye for now.